London's shuttered theatres are at risk of becoming the latest economic casualty to the COVID crisis. That's the view of impresario Andrew Lloyd Webber, composer of musicals such as The Phantom of the Opera and Cats. He owns seven West End theatres, and he says they're costing him about a million pounds a month to keep going, even while they're closed. And with few signs that the government will let them open soon, he told me he's worried. And now we're at this point now where um, I, I just, I, mean, I am concerned because um, I, I, I don't, we don't really have any further areas. I mean, I'd be quite open about it. I've taken a mortgage on my house now um, because we, we are at the point that we, um, we can't get any more bank funding. Um, and therefore, I mean, and, and it, it, but I'm not, um, I, I, I'm just more concerned really for our, our actors and our musicians and our stage crews. COVID has left many in the theatre with no income for nearly a year now. And because of the way many of them work, a lot have not been eligible for government support schemes such as the furlough or grants for the self-employed. But they aren't the only ones struggling. A big West End show brings audiences from across the country and around the world into London, where they spend money on restaurants, in bars, in taxis and hotels. That's all gone. Andrew Lloyd Webber told me that if the government work on getting theatres back, that will help boost the economic recovery. I've never come across anybody in my 50 plus years who really, in working profession in the theatre, who realises exactly what a big hit musical or a big hit play um, can, brings back. I mean, it is prodigious what it, it earns. It seems bringing up the curtain on theatre in London might help rejuvenate the economy for far more of the UK.